Hey, what is going on, guys? It's me, Craft the Rapper here. Thank you for joining me with another DVR video. This is, um, I'm gonna do another one since the last one did very well. As you can see, we're gonna be doing the top seven of the best moves in DVR in person. And, um, this is my opinion, by the way. Just keep that in mind. I have done a lot of testing, and it shows out that these moves are the best ones in the game. So, first of all, as you can see, we are going with the number seven as full power access deadly bomber. This is the strongest key blast in the game. It is 2.7, it is 2,793 damage, exactly at, at, um, just like doing that, like, really fast. But if you do it at full power, it can do about, um, it could do about, I think, 3,000 damage or 3,500. I don't remember. But it can do above 3,000 damage or 3,000 3, damage. So, yeah, so you can just see me, and you can move it around. This is one of the only moves you can move around. I just did a karma flash right there. I apologize for that. that. It's going to be a move for a different time. But, yeah, you can see, watch me, watch my mouse go around. Now I'm controlling it for, like, you can control the move for um, 2.5 seconds exactly. I've timed it, and we're just going to go on to the next move. So, yeah. On with number six, we have a new move in the game. Or not a new move. It was added a couple months ago. It's called the um, Time Skip IC Glare. This is a really good move to use, and you'll just see me use it in just a second. Um, it's a really good move to use in combos. It turns like a time skip type of mode. It turns the green. It uh, turns the screen like I don't know, bluish, grayish color, like a bluish grayish, bluish, uh, like a light blue color. But anyway, that's not important. It does um a lot of damage and it does have it doesn't have much repercussions i think it doesn't have even have any repercussions last time i checked um i'm gonna just check back in the coordinate i'm pretty sure it doesn't have any repercussions that's what's so good about this move after you soon as you use it you can go on to the next move unlike other moves because other moves you have to wait a while to you um use another move like um really good moves like this one usually you have to wait a while and you will um, not be able to like um, fly really fast and everything but not with this move this move does not um, do that to you and so yeah we're just gonna go on to the next one and I'm just gonna let you watch the rest of this going on to number five we have um, I think another melee move yeah we have another melee move called divine retribution it is a brand new move that just came into the game not even two weeks ago um yeah it's one of the um, co um quickest melee moves in the game and one of the um probably i think the 12th strongest move in the game um strength wise but in speed wise it is one of the fastest melee moves in the game so fast it like just do things and um there's not much to say about this but it gives you a, um, you know, the, um, like, glowy, I don't know what I would call it, it's like a glow sword. I'm just gonna probably call it a glow stick, cause that's what it looks like. But, um, there's not much to say about this move, cause it's just really good to use. It's just very, um, helpful if you really just need to get something done quick and you need to attack someone quick. So, um, yeah, on to the next move. On to the next move, we have, um, what I think it's called Black Dragon Fist. Yeah, Black Dragon Fist. You can see it is on my F key. So I'm attacking Tufakira right now. And right now, I'm just trying to hit him with the Black Dragon Fist. It does a bunch of damage. Believe or not, it does like the most damage in the game. Not the most damage in the game, but I think it's the third most damage in the game it can do. It's stronger than the Ultimate Dragon Fist or any other past Dragon Fist since Goku Black is stronger than regular Goku, so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's just really strong, and I actually killed him right there, so we're just gonna cut on to the next move real quick, because since I killed him, so see ya. On to number, um, three, we have the best, um, key move in the game. This is the fastest and the strongest move in the game so far. The fastest and strongest key move in the game, correction fastest and strongest key move it is not at all the fastest strongest move in the game so far yet maybe it could be in the future i don't know but right now you can see how fast it can attack people and what my strategy is here's a quick tip for you guys if someone tries to hit you with a kamehameha and they do it slow just go behind them and then hit them with this 
as soon as they're done with the Kamehameha because they won't have time to react because it's so fast. It's like, I can't even react to it sometimes. But if you get too close to them, like I just did right there, um, it will not work. But you see how fast I can attack them. I can attack them in about one second or less. So if they have, the average human reaction time is two seconds, fun fact. So if they don't have the average human reaction time, they're not going to be able to react to this or even less. Um, so yeah, on to the next move. On to the second to final move. Um, we have um, um, time skip, flash, time skip, or flash, fish, crush. T that's a mouthful. Time skip or flash, fish, crush. Um, it has this like little wave effect. It's the second strongest key move in the game so far. And it's the um, strongest in time skip attack in the game. So it's stronger than any other time skip attack in the game right now. But, um, yeah. So, time skip or flash fist crush is like a very long range move that, um, does decent amount of damage. But not much as the, um, number one move, which we'll get in just a second. It does really good amount of damage. And if you hit it on someone for like three times, it can one shot anyone. If you hit them on them three times from close range with full power. So if you hit them three times with full power at close range, it could one shot anyone that is level 30, uh, that has 36,000, um, um, EXP, so, or not EXP, health, so on to the final, final move, on to number one, last but not least, I have recorded this like two times already, but last but not least, we have, ba -da -da -ba, Punisher Drive, Punisher Drive is the best move in the game, and I'll tell you why, Punisher Drive, since its nerf has not been used as much as PvP, I have seen over the past month or two, so it's been nerfed by um, Sonny the Boss, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you why it's still the strongest move in the game without its key. It's not the strongest move. It's the strongest melee move in the game. Um, but it's not the strongest move in the game like at all with like key. Because key holds that you know the spirit bomb and everything. Yeah, that's the strongest move in the game. That can't top out this. But this is pretty close to that. This can bring anyone with 250 stats in their health or less to um, green to yellow to in one hit. So that's why it, I think it's a really good move. And it, it makes up and nerf it by having it a longer punishment. Which I, I like to call it the punishment is when you have to stand still. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!